What's up guys? It's 4 a.m. here, so forgive my face in um but I'm too excited. So the car is idling at 3000 RPM and on the attempt to try to fix this, where's my paper? I'm going to get the stepper idle uh on the Speedwino fish dog connected to uh the IEC here in the eclipse. So if you don't know the IEC sensor sits right back in here. Let's go there. So it sits right in here. So we have the throttle body. This here is a throttle position sensor. The top one and is right below. I don't think we will be able to see it, but I'm gonna try my best. So right below this first connector, there's a, another one down there. So that connector has four wires. I'm gonna tell you the color, but it might be different depending on the year of your ECU and stuff. So there's orange with a blue stripe, and that's what the manual says, but here's only orange. Then we have gray and blue. Then we have another one that's only gray, and the other one that's yellow and blue. I got here the pinout from the ECU. So ECU is 47, uh, 48, 49, 57, 58. So the colors are here, right? So you can see 58, yellow, blue. I'm not gonna repeat myself. But I don't know. I took a picture of the connector and, and I know where they go. The ECU, the Speedwino, it has stepper idle A1, A2, B1, and B2. So it's all the yellows. So yellow and red, purple, black, and green. So we're gonna get those yellows. I'm not gonna solder or crimp or anything for now. I'm just gonna uh, put them together and put some tape because I want to test first, but yeah, that's gonna be the first time I do that I, I didn't do on the other car either. So this is one thing. The other thing is how I figure that they are The match they are together. I got my multimeter put on 20,000 ohms Came in here And start touching the wires yellow and gray. I'm just gonna triple check I peel it off. Yep, and I have I have um, ohms in here. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's moving. So we're gonna get yellow. And let me see which one is a stepper one. So stepper A one is yellow and red. A2 is yellow and green. So we're gonna get yellow and red from the speedy EFI and put on the e yellow. So it matches here A1. Now we're gonna get gray and we're gonna do yellow and A2. Yellow and green. There you go. Yellow and green. And now um, B1 is yellow and black, which goes to orange. And we're going to see from all of this, I can control the item. And the last one is yellow and purple. That goes to B2. There you go. Cool. So yeah, we can make this pretty later, but I have all the four in here. Uh, this should be enough to give me the stepper working. So we're going to go to the studio now. All right, so let's see how she behaves now. Um, so I have stepper open loop on the idle settings. I didn't change anything else. And here we have the stepper motor. If you go here, start up an idle. You have stepper motor and some other idle things. Uh, yeah, so there's more idle. Let's see, I'm not sure if we are gonna, uh, if it's gonna take any effect, but let's try. Look at that, she's kinda idling much better. We don't have the RPM, but um, yeah. 
she's dying a little uh, so I guess now uh, we need to understand here where it goes should the stepper go up or down so I'm gonna play with this a little more so 327 uh, so this is where I am right now uh, if I do like I don't know 370 oops here 370 and here 420 I'm just making stuff up and then I'm gonna try to start again and see if my idol goes higher a little oh yeah that's awesome and as it moves okay so this is gonna be 324 nice so I know for a fact that this thing works it just needs to be like higher um, so what I'm gonna do is what is this 369 I'm gonna play around and show you in a minute all right so I guess the stepper I don't work like a charm uh, I'm gonna show you here really quick sorry I'm gonna use the camera I'm not gonna record like pretty and stuff um, so come in here and say idle control and stepper open loop control closed loop is when it's gonna look into the your AFR I don't want to do that <coughs> uh, at least for now and this here I'm not quite sure where it is but I think is the time that it takes to start after you crank the car because when I crank it goes to 3000 like crazy and then um, something happens and then it goes back to its norm and I think this is the time it was 25 by default I changed to 15 I might change to zero in the future probably you're gonna see new videos about this uh, but that's gonna be it for for this one uh, one more thing I did is you get these new options here when you enable your stepper so you have stepper motor and stepper motor cranking I crank all of this up uh, <clears throat> and this kept my car running um, oh one more thing before I forget I don't know if I wire incorrectly or A is B, B is C and all that stuff no A and B, A is B and B is A so you invert in here this means that there's a positive and negative and if by chance you put on the uh, stepper A1 and A2 positive and negative inverted you can invert just here and it's gonna do just fine so yeah uh, I did some of that um, it idles fine I went for a little ride I need to put some gas in the car but as you see my plates expired in 2018 so I gotta register the car now <clears throat> or I might try to risk go to the gas station I don't know um, yeah so this here I might just line up smooth out and all that stuff um, and also I did some auto-tune which changed some values here for me um, which end up changing my whole AFR so you see here is 134 this looks way better 63 right I don't care about those two bottom rows but then um, 87.99 this 144 and 134 this is too much so I might be able to come in here and where is it here smooth it out so it goes to 117 but I'm gonna f from here now on the next videos you're gonna see uh, this here getting better uh, I know that this is good now because of the AFR I can use some tools to help me out um, and you're gonna see all of that this video I wanted to show you how I was doing to put the stepper in there um, which is the IEC, the idle control valve, ICV, ICV, IEC, whatever. Um, because my car was idling at 3000 RPM and because that little thing has a little motor inside and goes in and out and if it was open, there was air in all the time and I don't want it. So, 
I can control all of this with my Speeduino. And yeah, I'm happy, man. I'm excited. I want to do this, get this tuned before the snow comes and all that stuff because then you know how it goes. So I won't be able to do anything. Uh, I, anything, I mean, going out and having fun with the cars. At least not, not that car, at least this one probably. But I don't know. I'm not a snow fan. So don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that little like that hit a little uh, bell button because the bell button is going to tell you what my next videos are and I already told you what they are but um, I don't know when I'm going to do it I appreciate your guys support people love these Eclipse somehow uh, I mean nobody loved it and then because I think I was building it's not interesting but now tuning and stuff I get a bunch of fans a bunch of questions I love it and I'm being able to help a lot of people so again don't forget to subscribe leave a little uh, like button leave a little comment if you want I will be glad to answer uh, feel free to IM me and stuff but comments are better because you can share with other people what you're saying or what your questions are and might help someone else. Alright, catch you later guys.